Hi, my name is Judd and welcome to my channel. On this channel we cover unboxing of photography gear, tutorials in Photoshop and in Lightroom. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, cheers, and let's begin. In this video let's talk about the new sky replacement in Photoshop. I know there are plenty of videos out there that cover this topic on other YouTube channels and you may be thinking okay then why is this one different? Well we're not going to just replace the sky we're going to take a dull overexposed image and create a fantastic cinematic scene using presets in Photoshop. As always, I hope you enjoy the tutorial and that you learn some new techniques along the way. Please subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Just like to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. Cheers, you rock. Thank you. Let's get started and head over to Lightroom. So now we're in uh, Lightroom. As you can see with this image here, it is overexposed. I took this image back in 2006 um, when the wife was in, in Cambria at the, wine, at the wineries. At that time I had a Canon EOS Rebel XT with a 18 to 55 millimeter lens. As you can see, uh, the ISO was 200 the lens is at 55 at f10 1 over 200 seconds so really i could do anything with this with this uh, image you can go one or two ways i just want to keep this area here i want to make this area here dark keep the sky area as is so if we go auto it does a nice job to it but you can see the clouds and everything. But I want to get a bit more detail and depth out of this image. So let's uh, put, put this back, go to reset. Right, so what I want to do is to go to, <clears throat> I want to go to the graduated filter. You can either, or you can press M if you want to. So. What I want to do is, I don't, what I want to do is just to, a little bit on the exposure, nothing on the contrast, a little bit on the highlights. Let's bring this up to, say, right here, shadows. Again, I just want to bring it up a little bit. Not much is happening at the moment. Okay. okay. So from there, get the center and bring it up. Right about here. All right. So with the contrast, so with the exposure. I just want to bring this up a little bit, not too much, bring it down a bit, uh, if we're back there, okay. Highlights, I just want to bring that up a little bit, uh, about there, maybe just a little bit more, uh, let's try about there, that's okay. Right, shadows, shadows, just want to bring up again this little bit, bring some shadows into it. And leave the whites alone and the blacks around about there. Okay. Let's see, bring this up. Okay, let's bring it up. 
bring that up like that. It's looking a lot better already. Okay. Let's go for. Let's go for highlights. Highlights run about. Let's try about there. And the shadows. And let's try about there. And the whites. Whites and blacks. Uh, let's try it. I don't think it's too dark. A little bit there. Let's bring this back up to here, okay. Texture and bring a little bit of texture into the foliage. And bring a little bit of clarity, not too much. If you don't if you start bring too much into it, they'll start looking funky. We don't want funky. Okay. Um just a little bit of you know. Just play around with the sliders and until, you know, you can go all the way, and all the way that way, just until you get something right, you know, until your image looks right, you know. Don't go by this, what I'm doing, because this is just especially for this image. And a little bit of dark, not too much, just about there. It's got nice foliage, green foliage, and it's great. All right, once you're happy with it, now you can go over here, go to your mid-tones and your shadows and your highlights and you know, play around with the shadows. Don't be scared. Just, you know, play around with all the tools until you get something that you really like. You know. Now all these tools are here for you. You know, it's just really nice just to, you know, Back in the day, when they just used to have, you know, <coughs> protection and all that sort of stuff, chemicals, you're trying to mess around with them. You know, I tried doing that back in the day, using chemicals, never good at it. I'm so glad that, uh, you know, Adobe brought out Lightroom. You know, if you mess up, you can just click reset and back you go again. You're not wasting, you know, hundreds of dollars or pounds trying to get that image. I'm not saying it's not great, you know, these people who use the old method, you know, I admire them. They know how to do it. But, you know, as you can see, the Canon, there's my AF 18 to 55. That's good, okay. So once you're happy with that, we can then head over to go to photo, go to edit in, go to edit in Adobe Photoshop 21. And there we'll carry on working this. We'll be putting the clouds in. You know, <coughs> edit and copy with Lightroom adjustments. Right, now we're in Photoshop. Right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to replace the sky. So, click this little button here. And we're going to call this one back. Bound. All right. Next, we want to go to Edit Sky Replacement. In the dialog box, oh, an image has already come up. Click on there. Go down to where the little cog is. As you can see, you've got import sky from images, from, uh, from sky presets. You can rename them, you can delete them, do whatever you want with them. And you get more skies. So here we've got more, more skies. We've got sunset. We've got night skies, we've got blue skies, we've got all types of skies, stormy skies. All you've got to do is just hit download. Download them. 
it always does. And here you can see you can meet the artists who created them. Choose our own sky. I've got several skies down here. I had some skies that uh, I've had for a long time that I've taken and I've uh, downloaded them into my presets. So pick a good sky. Right. So already in your package. Oops. Yes. Take one time. And you've got sunset and you got, there's my skies. Let's have a look. Nice blue sky. Wispy. So you can just go through them, see which one would work for you on this image. Like that one wouldn't work, doesn't look right. So we just want a nice cloudy sky. So we want. How about this one? No. This one may work. Okay, let's try this one. So here, <coughs> you got uh, shift edge. So you can see it on the edge of the hills here, how it's trying to blend in. And then we got sky adjustment. The brightness of it. We got the fade here. That actually makes it darker. It's fading into the into the background. We've got scale. Bring it back down again. Oh, too far. Okay. We got flip. So mm. multiply. And we also got screen. As you see, if we use screen, it brightens the whole area around it. So I don't want that. I want multiply. You know, a bit of darkness around here and see the hills and the trees and everything. We've got light adjustment. You can change that. Like I said, just, ex just experiment with it. I'm a bit darker. Just to bring the this background out a little bit. We've got color adjustment. We can make it a lot colder or warmer. Looks, looks really nice, that does. I said you can play around with everything. See what looks good for your image. You know? And then uh, last but not least, we got the output. So, <clears throat> if you go multi uh, multiply layer, it flattens it. And that's what you don't work on, unless you still want to, unless you don't want to work on it anymore. I always like keeping it on new layers. So we have all the, the layer, the background layer, and all the layers that created the sky. So, so also we've got the paintbrush, hand tool to move it around, and also to increase your photo. So if you go option, and go back down again. So. Let's hit that for OK. One other thing I forgot to tell you, you can flip the uh, the image. Right. So this is all the layers that created 
this image. So it's looking pretty good at the moment. But I still want to darken this area up a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do we can do a couple of things. We can highlight everything. Go over to layers and go to smart objects, convert to smart objects. Okay. Now we've done that. Let's finish it doing what it's doing. Okay. We can go back over to filter and we go to camera raw filters. Where we can go and just play around with everything just a little bit. Yeah, not, not too much. Trying to get the clouds a little bit texture in the in the clouds. Very slight alterations. And then we got a curve. So what we can do we can just gently brighten that up a little bit. Bring down this the dark area a little bit. That's looking pretty good. From what we started with, with a overexposed image until what we got now, it's a hundred times better. So let's just play around with you know, just just play around with everything. Yeah, you know, don't be scared. Yeah. You know? Yes, keep on going. Yeah. You know? The more you play around with things, the more confidence you'll get with the tools within Photoshop and within Lightroom. I said okay. And there you go. I'm quite pleased with this one. Right. <clears throat> this one was shot in Venice, uh, California, uh, Venice Canals, a uh, very good tourist place. As you can see, this one is also very much overexposed. Now, I shot this one uh, a couple of years ago uh, with my Sony A77. Uh, with a 18 to 135 lens, uh, the ISO was uh, 120. Sorry, the ISO is 200. Uh, the lens is at uh, 18 millimeters at 5.6 f-stop, 160 of a second. Okay, let's try auto. Okay, it's made a very good job of it. It's brought back some of the. Uh, information but not everything these areas are still out of uh, <coughs> overexposed and back here as well hardly any sky uh, can't s let's have a look I didn't bring anything else back you know always use auto as a starting ground you know never rely on it you know rely on your eye and uh, your instincts and then just work within the photo bring them back and take it out what you want you know never you go click auto and that's it you know anyone can do that there's the ones that are creative that can bring a photograph out okay uh, let's give a little bit of text to it a little bit of Clarity. Okay. Uh, I think that's about all we can just do this. Yeah, Sony 18 to 135, 3.5 to 
It is okay. It's a good old, good little lens. Just straighten it up a little bit. Or not. Go back. All oh, right. Okay. Well, let's again. Let's go to photo, edit, edit in Photoshop. All right. Let's head over to Photoshop. I'm still loading it. And there it is. Right, now we're in Photoshop. Let's see what we can do with this little beauty. So first off, there's a couple of things that I do not like. I don't like this area here with some people. Could crop that off. There's these people here. There's There's these people here, distracting, and also then there's this little boat here. So what we're going to do, start off with, we're going to use the patch tool. We're going to make a layer. So we're going to use the patch tool. Let's draw around here. These people draw around fairly wide so Dolby AI has something to work with. Okay, okay, control my fill. All right, I think that's about as best as I'm going to get out of this one. Like I said, we have to do some. New layer, output, new layer. All right. I haven't made a too bad of a job of it. Okay, so we just go grab over to here. All right. Grab this. Okay. So Alt Option, and you just gonna put there. I'm just gonna increase the size of the brush. Flow rate. Option here. Opacity is 48. Flow rate is 79. Okay. Let me just bring that tree back in again. Okay. And again, Alt Option on a Mac. And let's take samples. Okay. Again, down here, we can just go over here and we can grab and just grab part of this tree here with the patch tool, and we there you go, hit return. Yep. Now it doesn't look too bad. Yeah. From the sort of distance. Doesn't look too bad. So that's the patch tool.
Okay, so we've got a little bit over here as well. Let's see if we can get rid of those people. Okay. Right. Again. Where can you conquer the world? Well, that doesn't look too bad. I might say so, say so myself. Okay, apply. And there you go. Alright, so now we got that little bit out of the way. I know we got some people up there, but it doesn't matter. It's just those people in that boat and those people up there are distracting me. Okay. <clears throat> so, highlight the background. We go up to edit. We go to sky replacement. Right. I want some I want to make something really dark and moody because I feel like I'm in a dark and moody place no, seriously let's uh, how about this one here so we got a nice sunset coming over and there's other ones we can choose from I quite like this one. What we got there at the moment. Okay. Cool. Right. Again. Here you go. And shift the edge. We want. That's gone too dark in this area here where the buildings are. So we need to bring that down, bring it back. There you go. Let's try about there. Okay. So we got faded edge. And bring that little bit. Bring the darkness back. Remember, the faded edge, you can go all the way back to here. Darken up. Then you get a little bit of halo. So you just have to make, make fine adjustments. No. Not up here. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Looks like something out of uh, Stranger Things. You know, the demons coming over Venice. So you got make a little bit more, more angry. There's some halo wing going around here. Yeah, let's watch that. So then scale it up. And we got again we want to give it a multiply. So we get So like I said, just keep on playing with it until you get something that looks a bit more, a little bit more better. Sorry about the noise. We got a helicopter going across. Looks like a military helicopter. Okay. All right. Hopefully, I'll be fast soon. So, also, I want to do. I'll do the reflection here. So what I'm gonna do well, like I said also you can flip it. But we'll leave it for that like this for the moment. All right, click OK. Mm. 
All right. <clears throat> so we're happy with that. So like I said, I want to put the sky reflection in the water. So there's one way of doing that. Right. Now let's uh, copy this. What we want to do is to move this down here. Let's get the move tool. Move it. Okay. So let's move the color. And what we want to do is then to go to the sky, go to our brush tool, and make this a little bit bigger. Make it bigger here. And then change this so it doesn't stop bringing out. Let's try the big one. Okay. So always remember <clears throat> when you're using on a mask tool, black will take away. Black takes it away, and white brings it back. So, what I want to do is just try and make all this. I guess this the, cloud, the reflection from the clouds and everything is hit in the water. Maybe take your time over it. I'm going to put here. And a little bit here. Down the, down the canal. Okay. Quite good reflection of the clouds on there. What you can do is bring this down a bit. It's not overpowering. About there. Okay. So then we bring a little bit more background. We can also put all these together. We can go here, let's go to scale, and we can just make it a little bit bigger. That should do it. Hit return. Back on to the mask tool and just bring a little bit more of that cloud out. Now I'm sure that there is other ways to do this. <coughs> if you know of another way of doing it, please leave it in a comment and I'll pass it on to everybody else. Okay. Well, this looks fairly good so far, but you know, I'd like to make this bit. Oops, we got a little bit of area here that we have to get rid of. Okay, so not that one. Let's try this one. 
Well, I guess it must be very private. Okay, let's just find out which one it is. Not that one. It's that one, okay. So you need, you need the black. Take it away. Let's up the opacity a bit. I'll just take the heck of that. Trying to get rid of it. There you go. Alright. Okay. Let's got rid of that. Yeah, that's looking really nice now. But <clears throat> I feel like there's still something missing. So what we're gonna do now we are gonna highlight everything. And let's try everything. Okay, highlight everything and turn that into says and go plan to go down in layers hit smart object convert okay just let this one convert then we could go into raw filter okay nearly done yep it's done okay just a few more seconds all right so we're there all right so go into filter go into camera raw filter i just go play around with it for a little bit just to spice it up the highlights shadows bring the shadows down a bit bring the blacks down a bit the texture, a little bit of clarity. You know, we can bring in the bring up the reds a little bit. Uh, how about that? That's looking good. The greens, make those a little bit darker. No. There you go. Let's try that. Right, <clears throat> so here we could go to our presets, Shift P, and as you see, we got a load of presets here. Some skin portrait, idle skin. I like this one, cinematic. So it's getting some really nice atmospheric sort of looks to this. Quite like this one here. You know, just go in, play, play with the filters. You know, compared to what we started off with, that's looking really good. You know, fantastic. A little bit of black and white one here. And that's really, you know, from an ordinary blown out you know, photograph of the chat of the Venice canals and we invaded something into you know masterpiece here you know, just play around with them yeah. you're creative Oh, this it definitely looks like something out of uh, Stranger Things. You know, the monsters just go come out. <laughs> yeah, that one looks nice as well. I said black and white. I'll just go around and play with them. Enjoy yourself. So I'm gonna go for. Uh, Look at this up there. Gonna go for this one up here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for this one. And click OK. Let 
uh, Adobe does a job. And I quite like that one. You know, the fantasy image. You know, you know something coming out of out of the clouds. It's done a pretty good job. Let's go in and just tweak it a little bit more in camera raw. You know, good basic. Just play around. Have fun. You know. Get a little bit more pop. You know. See the curbs. Just play around with it. Bring it make it a little bit darker. And pop it back into Photoshop. You can bring these up, highlight these, and dark around this a little bit more. And you know, play with it. And I'm quite happy with it. So, so this is it. Yeah, you know, from an ordinary photograph. We did this one here, we did this one. We started off with that little image. I ended up with something like this. You know, the world is your oyster. Go play, go create. And uh, thank you very much for sticking with me. Um, I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you very much don't forget to uh, like and uh, subscribe to this channel for more videos um, so thank you very much cheers bye for now and I hope to talk to you later have a good day bye